Mm, another wait, is this the same guy? Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, do I keep the mayhem? The problem is, the mayhem is the worst of my removal. But if I get nothing in place of it, if I don't get any removal by uh, and and I throw it out, then I'm in a very terrible spot. But luckily, I still pulled into my Sunder anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. Like, I'm the guy who just beat him just barely, right? Because he ran out of steam. How does he go about this game, this match differently? Based on knowing that. Does he try and take it slower? Does he try and rush me even harder? <laughs> it's definitely taking a lot of time to try and think of it. Yeah, okay, so he's going to take it slow. I, I actually kind of figured he might do that. But I have a really good counter for it right now. Especially if he plays more cursed units. No, he can't. Wait, yeah, he can. He can play the cursed warriors with the mana potion. Which I actually kind of hope that he does. Because that means like his strategy is like it's just ripped to shreds. Uh, because he won't have... Oh, that's even better. Oh, man, this poor guy. Uh, and I can sunder that one if I want to. Do I want to sunder that? I'm going to go with yes. Uh, one, because it's a ranged unit. Two, because I know he's playing scared. So I think if I put the pressure on him now, then he might not ever come back. But if I give him a sliver of hope, that one little 1-1 one, one archer, he might be able to turn that into a win. So I'm giving up my card advantage for momentum. And I wonder how it will pay off or how it will punish me. Rather, if it does. What's kind of cool is that I can see his like cursor and his card movements. It kind of looks like he's kind of floundering a little bit. Or maybe he's just putting on that act to get me to play a uh, pressure game. So I can't actually deal with that Thor unless I draw into another fate or another Sunder. Or if I draw into a fate or another Sunder. He has no more moves. So what is he gonna do? Please let me draw into a fate or Sunder. Uh I could go for Surter Mayhem and hope. <laughs> and just hope. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to hope that much. Okay, I'm going to move here because I want I have the option of moving here or moving here. And this gives me the option to both. And then play the Surter and then play the Mayhem and hope... Oh, you know what I should do? I should attack first to make sure it doesn't overkill Thor. Okay. All right, so I have two shots and I need one shot to hit Thor. That's like, what, a 50-50 chance, right? Oh... No, that's so painful. Uh, wait, no, that's it was a 25% chance not to hit Thor because one shot's 50 50. The second shot is another instance of a 50 50. For both of those not to hit, is a 25% chance, I think. At least I think that's how math works. It could be the gambler's fallacy or whatever, where uh, each instance is 50 50, regardless. I, I don't know. I'm going to say the 25% chance because that sounds <laughs> makes it sound more tragic. But yeah, I think I lost by this point. Not hitting that that RNG really hurts. And now I'm going to have to rely like if I hit it, then I'm just like supremely helping him get the the kill on me or I need like a fate. I would probably use a sunder or another mayhem, but drawing into more removal by this point in the game is going to be so difficult. And he still has two mana left to play something. But what? He keeps he keeps flipping through his cards. I just don't know what's what's going through his head. Oh, he's gonna try and he probably has like what double backstab in his hand right now or something. Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> that's so painful. Damn. I have to kill that thing, though, or else it's just going to murder me later. Oh, I shouldn't have placed that there, but whatever. Actually, this kind of helps to block his path towards me, so maybe it's for the better. 
the only thing I could have drawn into that would that would have been worse would have been like a backstab or something. Uh, yikes! That's gonna be tough. Man, this guy is really he's really sticking it to me, making me like make these really difficult decisions and stuff. And he's playing like a lot of basic cards like this Yemir, Thor, Harpy, and I'm still not able to really deal with him effectively. Which is interesting considering like I feel like a lot of my games are just like bam, done like that. But then this guy and like this other Norse I went to go up against uh, two days ago, it's just Maybe it's just this Norse matchup, this like specific Norse matchup that takes it slow, I lose to. But then I win against pretty much everything else. Interesting. I really should be keeping a spreadsheet on this kind of stuff, but whatever. I'll do that later. Probably. So actually him drawing into this Yimmer is actually not that bad because it's such a slow card. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, so I could actually kill this right now. Do I want to do that? Do I want to kill this? Oh, I'd have to move myself somewhere, like over here, and get another hit off on him or something. Okay, what I could do here is I could ability my wolf. Or I could ability... I have three damage, which makes it three health. I could do three damage here, but then I could save the wolf. Maybe I, I'll do the mayhem first. Yeah, that's right. Do the mayhem first. Um, that's pretty bad, but I'll work with it, I guess. What if I just go for the kill on him? Four, five, six, seven, eight damage. I'd still be four away. That's not good enough. But at least I keep my wolf alive for a little bit longer. Okay, and I'm I'm kind of relying on the bet that he still has a really bad hand and he's just trying to play the very best plays that he can with what he's got. And it's so I'm so unsure though. I'm just, I'm going only off like his cursor movement and the time it takes him to take these turns. That's the only reason I'm playing uh like just play the long game again. <laughs> He's up to my antics, though. He knows I can play the long game almost as well as he can. It's just a matter of who has the better play, like, past turn five. It looks like he's got it right now. He drew out, like, all my removal, and I've got nothing left. Ah, yikes. This is going to be really difficult to deal with. I really need to draw into a fate. Have I even drawn into one yet? So it's a one in six chance to draw into a fate. A fate could win this game for me. I think Loki's not bad, but it's not good enough. I don't know. That actually might be a game over. Um, whatever. Let's just hope he doesn't like see it or whatever. Oh, I can still heal myself. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. So I don't think it's over just yet, but it's close. It's very close. Also, all he needs to do is draw into a backstab, I think. So he moves this top right archer and he moves it into the bush. He attacks with that. He attacks with himself. He moves himself up and down. And then he gets his other curse warrior, hits me. That puts me down to three HP. And then he finishes off with backstab. He's used one backstab. Also, let's see. He's I don't think he's played any Sunders at all, so I'm going to guess he doesn't have a Sunder. So that means, has he used both fates? Oh, I was going for Gunger's Might, so he's just going in for... Oh, this is really close. Oh, no, no, he doesn't, he, he only went up to two, not up to three. Okay, he's going to boost that, but then that Curse Warrior in the back is not going to be able to kill or hit me. Unless he teleports it, but he's not shown any teleport cards yet. Uh, I think he would have gotten off two more damage if he had started the other way. Yeah, I think he missed out on two damage. I would not have died, I don't believe, unless he has a mayhem. But then he would have used the mayhem before he attacked with his cursed unit. Unless he wanted to absolutely be sure he killed, or he didn't overkill Scotty, it's hard to say. <laughs> so is that the win right there? 
So this is six, nine. No, it's one damage off. Maybe I can just run away. <laughs> just run away. I'm just gonna run away as far as possible. Um, uh, ability the Loki. He's gonna kill regardless, so I'm not really worried about the da uh, extra damage. Funnily enough, if he had not moved this warrior where he did, I actually would have won. <laughs> okay. I just need to get one more damage in somewhere, and I can do that with Scotty since she's range. And he dropped his uh, Cursed Warrior, which is really good. So the only things I can win in the game by this point, I believe, uh, is a, a Loki of his own, which I doubt since he has a lot of basic cards, or a Fate Backstab. He definitely has a second Backstab, but does he have a second Fate? I, did, I wasn't counting. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, two movement. One, two... Range is like what three units? One, two, three, or something? I don't know. I think it's one short. But it's fine. I can just back myself up into the corner. It looks like he's flustered again. <laughs> At least that's what I take it to mean by him just constantly going through his cards over and over again. Okay. I can win this game with like fate and mayhem. I still haven't drawn into my fate. I can do second backstab. This game is pretty much in the bag. Oh, there's the second backstab. Good stuff. Does this actually reach? No, it doesn't. It's one short. But anyway. Oh my gosh, that was so close again. <laughs> it's so ridiculously close. Ooh, I don't want to go up against that Norse guy anymore. I, I can tell, man. That guy is... That guy was pretty good. At least I think so. Maybe I'm thinking too highly of myself. I don't know. I'm going to keep one Sunder just in case. I dropped the Scotty. I think this guy's a little bit too close but to my level to try and risk something like a Scotty uh, cheese. So going to just mine, get rid of one of these. Please give me a mana potion. Never mana potion. I'm pretty sure you can get a mana potion from this, right? Maybe the the chances either I'm really unlucky or the chances for getting it are really low. All right, so I think I just go for I can't actually reach him, so maybe I just go for Sunder or Fate. Fate's a good idea too. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the fate. I think generally speaking, I go for fate when I know I'm going to hit the target that I want to hit. And what I can do here is I can go for fire imp, attack this thing. Damn it. Okay, at the very least, I know what's his face. Big Daddy Zeus doesn't have a whole lot of removal. I could double earn of health that, but I don't want to earn of health a uh, fire imp. I want to earn of health, uh, like a Caldea or something. I mean, uh, a Scotty. Wow, we went for the Sunder on it. Oh. Huh. So I'm going to have to attack the Sterops. Oh, nice. They got the Scotty, too. This is perfect. I think I pretty much won the game by this point. Uh, Scotty, earn of health. And, it, like, it just, it's going to be near impossible for Zeus to deal with this. And then I'm going to double Caldea next turn. So, yeah, rip. The only thing he can really do is uh, he can't even summon Athena uh, for two more turns. By that point, I'll have one. All you can do right now is like uh, a uh What's the Aphrodite? Um, Chafeng, Aphrodite. Um, what else? Uh, what other options does Zeus have? Oh, Medusa. Uh oh, that's not good. That's way too much health. I can't deal with that. I need to draw into removal. Oh my gosh, that's that was so close. Oh, okay. That's so good though. So I drop the Surter. I attack with myself. Yeah, I have to attack with myself. And I have to attack with her. That could have lost me the game right there. Thankfully it did not though. And now, like like if it wasn't sure before, it's there's no way I lose by this point. Wow, an Enyo too? Man, this guy is rich. He's got all the, the juicy legendaries. So what I have to do here... I'm probably going to have to... Attack with... I can... Huh. So I think I move her up here. And attack the flag. 
Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I hope it, I'm just gonna go go for it and hope I do it right. Move the hair. Move him here. Then ability the wolf. Attack Enyo. I lose the wolf, but that's all good. I just drop the second one. All right, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, for real, these last time you can't possibly drop another huge minion on me. Ah, uh, Sunder. That's all good. Oh, that's it. That's all he's got. Okay. Drop the second Scotty. And now he has absolutely nowhere to go. And since I have a uh, mana left over, I'm going to ability the wolf. Put attack here. Uh, attack here. Oh. Uh, okay, he just gave up. Haha. -ha. He had absolutely no moves to pull off there. Okay, enough of those shenanigans. Back into another Norse v. Norse. I think the only thing I keep here is fate. I think it's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure these firearms are a visual bug. Ugh. Gross. Okay, wow, double fate. That's actually not actually very good. Um... Surely that- I thought I'd drop both fire ramps though. Uh, I guess I just called here. It's a really weak play. But it's gonna have to be good enough. I would have loved to Gunder Smite or something like that there. He also didn't move up. I wonder if that was intentional. Or if he just like, skipped his turn. Oh wow, he's going for his own Scotty. And I have no way of getting to it. And attack ant for one. So I'm just gonna have to go for double fate or something. A double fate's not too bad, especially against Scotty. Because the big thing with fate is that it's like a sunder and two damage to the enemy leader, which is nice. So I'm going to move this all the way up, I think. Double fate. Oh, I have to mana potion. Uh, no mana left, can ability, so I just go for the attack. I do not attack with Caldera, at least not just yet. Although, maybe I should have gone, no, no, no. If it had three health, I think I would have gone for one attack. Because he would have attacked, sundered it anyway. But because it only has two health, he can just finish it off with his own auto attack instead of wasting a fire imp on it like that. So the right, the right choice there is to not attack. Unless I was really going for a hard rush down, but I'm not. What are these little white parallelograms are? <laughs> Pardon. Wow. It's such a weird card. I feel like it has, like, if you can actually get some use out of it, it could actually be broken. But I think in most situations, this is most definitely not. I think the distinction comes in... If, if this game was a lot longer and attacks, like, there was a lot more buffing your leader, I think it could then be a lot more powerful. But as a curling stand, it's almost a worthless card. I think over the course of the game, like, you can look at it in terms of how much you heal over the course of the game. And I think it'd be relatively low. Damn it, here comes Mayhem. <laughs> at least he floods the board. He wasn't actually able to kill my starter. Which is kind of nice, because now he has to waste an attack on it. Alright, this is going to be a little bit difficult. I think I may actually just have to go for a kill here. So he can't move, he has no more plays. A double Fire Imp Frenzy backstab could actually be really good here. Unfortunately, I don't have that option. So I think instead, I just force him to make a move. Do I think that last card in his hand is Scotty? Uh, I don't think I have a choice. I think I just go for the attack here. So he has seven damage on the board. He needs five more. Okay, he doesn't have enough. He's just going for another mayhem. It's kind of unfortunate for me. But he's about to sack all of his units on me, so then I can just come back really hard. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. He doesn't have any more mayhem, so he's definitely going to sack him. It's especially good if he goes for the Caldir attack me. Oh, it's... No, wait, I don't have my two attack anymore. No. 
it's not as good, but it's still pretty good for me. Four, five, six. I have enough mana for at least one combo. This is what? How much does this get me? Two, three, four, five, six, nine. Nine isn't enough. Nine is not enough. I think I dumped the Scotty here. Do I dump it in front of me or behind me? Behind me, because I want him to. But then again, what if he has enough? Oh, I have a call here, so I'm good. Oh, I wish I had one, one more mana, though. Two, four, six, five. Two, four, six, eight. He hasn't exactly enough damage, but. If he can clear this call deer without losing his units, he wins. No, I know he doesn't because he can't reach the cl he can't get the calder to reach me. Okay, so I think I've won by this point. Although it's gonna be really, really close. It relies on Scotty, my Scotty, bringing in that extra damage. But then again, what if he positions himself in such a way that doesn't allow me to attack him? Then it also ruins the plan. Okay, so it looks like he's just gonna sack his units, which is so good, so fantastic. And he can't reach me with either of those cursed warriors, which means they're up for grabs to be killed easily. Oh, wait, no, no, he can just move it through. Forgot about that. So, no, he's just going to sack them all. And he doesn't have enough for backstab to kill me either. Although it's really, really close. I have to win on this next turn, basically, I think. I really need to draw into, like, a fire fire ramp. Oh, oh, see, I just, I told you, I told you. <laughs> Damn, that is not the card I want. All right, do I have enough damage here? If I attack him first, I win anyway, so... It's two, four, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's just bar just barely enough. I need to do this right. Okay, fire imp. That's all my units. So frenzy, backstab, attack. Oh, that was enough. I didn't even have to attack him. Oh, man. Where did I miscount? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was so close. Literally one HP. <laughs> Shit.